a converter of direct current in, into alternating current, or a DC slash AC converter is today a popular attribute of many automobilists. This unique device will help to connect the required appliance in the AC main in the car without the domestic network. A simple concept will enable you to understand how a converter works. The master oscillator is assembled on VT1 transistor and R3, R4, R5, C3 chain. DD1.2 flip-flop divides pulse frequency in half. Pulses at 50 Hz frequency are formed at the output. They manage VT2, VT3 keys working on the push-pull power amplifier circuit. A transformer serves as load here. It increases the pulse voltage up to 220 volts. Power voltage is supplied to the output stage transistor collectors by halves of the primary transformer winding to the master oscillator and DD1 flip-flop via R1 VD1 parametric stabilizer. Stabilizer and C1 capacitor together eliminate the effect of key transistors on the operation of the other circuit elements. C4 and C5 capacitors accelerate switching of transistor keys, facilitating their operation. DD1.1 flip-flop has D input connected to the positive power output through R2, while C input is connected to the master oscillator output. The flip-flop is designed to monitor battery status and reports of its discharge to the level set by R2 resistor. The operation principle here is as follows. With the maximum battery charge, the voltage at D input D of DD1.1 flip-flop is above the switching threshold at the inverted output logic 0, respectively the LED is not lit. When the battery voltage falls below the norm, this flip-flop will switch to zero state on the pulse edge of the master oscillator at C input. The LED will light up, thus indicating an acceptable mode of operation, that is, that is not suitable to power the inverter.